So at this point, we have collected our data and we did a quick run through making sure that the data was there, but we haven't actually got the data in a form that we can work with. As we want to get the data out of our motion capture software and into software like Visual 3D, where we can perform a biomechanical analysis and process the data further in a scientifically validated way. Of course, a lot of the details of what we're going to do with that data are covered in Visual 3D Basics and Visual 3D Expert Builder, but we're going to show you a few tips that you might be able to use when working with your data in your motion capture software. Obviously, if you don't have the same system we do, it's going to be a little bit different. So, to open Gate Analysis or Gate Lower Body 2, you notice there are several markers that are not labeled. This one, for example, I know for sure that this is supposed to be LTH1. However, it wasn't labeled for whatever reason. So I can just drag it in and This is, here's a different example where I know for sure this is supposed to be LTH2, it was mislabeled as LTH3. So I first want to make sure it's been mislabeled for the entire trial. And actually it was not. LTH2 was labeled correctly for part of the trial. So, I'm going to drag these, or try to, to measure it correctly. Now, trying to do this actually is highlighting a different issue. So, unlabeled was very easy to fix. Mislabeled as in this case, we want to label it correctly, but where is that line that determines what's correct and what's not? So LTH3, at this point, is all labeled wrong. Here at frame 463, we see it is labeled wrong, and it should be LTH too. But this is actually a common thing, especially if you are in a situation where there are a lot of other sources of light and you can confuse the cameras. Here we have the camera system having identified two markers for the same location, where one is LTH2 and one is LTH3. At this point, LTH2 is actually labeled correctly. But if we go back, just few frames. This is LTH3. So what I'm going to do is actually delete that. Scrolling forward, right here we have LTH2 starting at frame 457. You can see it right here as being present at 457, correctly so. The problem is LTH3 is also pre present at frame 457. So, we're going to only take what was labeled before frame 457 over here. It says there's some overlapping ranges. It's going to ask us. That's okay. Let's, let's go set head and say that's Okay, and now LTH2 is labeled correctly for almost the entire trial. And I say almost because I see up here it's at 97.2%. We'd like it to be at 100% if possible. This is an example that highlighted 
several things that can go wrong in relabeling data. Now this is a particularly bad example which uh, we are trying to show you to highlight this. Typically, even with this motion capture system, these are not issues that come up. We have ended up creating a very difficult situation for the cameras, but it typically does very well. And in fact, other trials we collected actually look fantastic. This particular trial had a little bit more trouble, which is why we're using it to illustrate the point. We want to make sure that in labeling our data, all markers are labeled as much as possible of the trial and labeled with the right name. If they're swamped, that causes problems later on when we are data processing. So make sure that you keep that in mind as you're going through your trial. Make sure you pay very close attention to the details because if you don't, it can be a mistake that gets dragged on in your processing and when you get to interpretation, you might not even know that you inserted an artifact because a marker was mislabeled. And as you go check your results later on, it might be a lot more work to fix. So spend those extra few minutes and make sure that your markers are labeled correctly. And refer to your manufacturer's documentation on the best practices to do so, as each manufacturer is slightly different and it can be very enlightening and helpful to go through that. Now in the next chapter, we are going to deal with some issues that can arise due to a variety of factors that can get into your data, but is not necessarily an artifact due to cameras or extra lights, it's an artifact to do due to other factors.